What's up guys, it's the Test Boss here bringing you a Wi-Fi battle in the NUT against Delifire17. I believe his username is either that or Delifire14. I don't remember the two numbers at the end of his username, but nonetheless, this is going to be an NU Wi-Fi battle. Now, we battled in NU before and he's beat me, I believe 2-0 or 3-0, not really sure the score of that battle. But hopefully we can redeem ourselves in this battle. So on his team, he has Mr. Mind, Probo Pass, Pyroar, Floatzel, Chata, and Hariyama. On my team, I have Elective Virus, Swoobat, Swana, Girder, Rhydon, and Crustle. Some very good threats on both of our teams. Um, he has a possible entry hazard setter in Probo Pass. Aside from his Chata, though, he doesn't have anything that can possibly defog. Chata does get defog, but I'm not really sure he runs it on his. Um, Pyroar is very threatening with the choice specs. Fossil can either be scarfed or banded. And Harry is just really bulky with its assault vest. So this would be a very interesting battle. Well, let's all see how this battle plays out. Pony is going to lead off Mr. Mime. I'm going to lead off Lights Out the Electivire. My, my Electivire is scarfed. And since nothing on this team is immune to electricity as I, as I remember, I'm able to wild charge freely, and this is actually a one-hit KO Mr. Mime. I mean, I guess he was scarfed as well, because that's why he stayed in, but... Yeah, Electivire does not have one hit, and next up comes Probopass. Now, I'm going to switch out. I'm going to go to Girder, which is actually a great switch for him. Unfortunate that I did not stay in, because I could have got a free motor drive boost after this Volt Switch. I guess he went for Volt Switch, predicting my Swana Switch, which is fine, it's fair, I get that. And he's going to switch into Chaton. I'm going to go for a Mock Punch to break its Puzzle Sash. This is going to go for a Chatter. Unfortunately, that is going to be super effective. Plus, it's going to confuse the hell out of my Girder. I'm switching Girder out. I'm going to my Rhydon. Rhydon the Rhydon. Yes, puns. Isn't that awesome? He goes for the Substitute. And I have my Rhydon out here. He's going to go for a Chatter to confuse my Rhydon as well. Unfortunately. So yeah, Rhydon is confused. Right on, I believe, hits itself this time. Yes, hits itself. Chad is going to go for the nasty plot, and it's going to get a plus two in special attack, which is really bad for me as I go for a Dragon Tail to break the substitute. Completely forgot that Dragon Tail does not actually switch out the Pokemon if it's behind a substitute. So I probably should put Roar on this thing, but he's going to go for Chat Chatter again to confuse me to hopefully take down my Ryan. But Ryan is going to break through that and knock out Chat off a Dragon Tail. So I guess that's. Fortunate I had Dragon Tail on it, but yeah. Next time he's going to send in Capcom, the Float Cell, not going to stay in. I'm actually going to sack out the Girder. Girder can't really do anything at Yellow Health, seeing that as how it's very slow. So Ice Punch is going to knock out the Girder, probably predicting my Swana switch. Not going to happen though. Going to go into Electrifier. Going to go for the Wild Charge. He's going to withdraw his Capcom, the Float Cell, and go into Provo Pass. Yes, Pro Pass, and that's actually going to do about 40%, give or take. Going to switch Electivire out and go into Rhydon. Um, hoping that maybe I can outspeed it and hit, hit it with an Earthquake, but that's obviously not going to happen here. Could have got the Special Defense, decrease some Earth Power, and then going to finish me off with Flash Can. Good night, Rhydons. I'm going to go into a Crustle. I'm not going to set up a Shell Smash. There's really no point. I mean, I could get the Weakness Policy and Shell Smash off. But it's very clear to me that Hariyama does carry Fake Out and or Bullet Punch. So being at 1 HP against Hariyama is not a good thing. He's going to go into Capcom, the Float Soul, after I take out his Bullet Pass Earthquake. Activates the Weakness Policy of Waterfall, but unfortunately, my Crustle flinches. Yeah, my Crustle flinches. So. Crustle knocks out Crustle. No point in keeping Crustle around. This headed Electivire. Gonna go for a wild charge this time. Again. But he's gonna switch out and he's gonna go into Hariyama. So I'm guessing that this Crustle is not scarce since it's how Crustle has higher base speed than Electivire. Switching Electivire out, going into my Swana. Um, yeah. He's gonna go for Fake Out, which isn't gonna do much to Swana. Fortunately, he did not go for Thunder Punch. Gonna go for the Life Orb Boots and Hurricane, which is gonna take Hariyama out. Next out comes Pyroar, and I'm gonna leave Swana in. Don't have any other good switch ins for this, unfortunately. I mean, I guess I could have switched um, a Swoobat in, but eh. Every boy's gonna knock out Swana. Critically, I do not believe matter if that was Specs. 
power dose of life damage. I'm going to switch electric bar in, and I'm going to go for the earthquake, which is going to one hit kill pyro. So yeah, this pyro was not struck, and it is life form. So don't know if that critical hit matter. Probably not because Hyper Voice has high base power. Switch electric bar out, going into Swoobat. Do not want to be locked in the earthquake against the Floatzel since I don't believe Flo earthquake will one hit KO Floatzel no matter how frail it is. Waterfall takes Swoobat out and next up comes Electivar. And I am going to go for the Wild Charge to finish off Floatzel. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with how I played here. I redeemed myself in the NU Waterfall after getting, I believe, two or three owed by him in our last NU encounter. Scarp Electivar really does put in a lot of work. Gotta say that. I do have to say. But, yeah. Unfortunately, I did lose the speed tie. It was revealed that Rhydon and Pro passed speed tie. So, I did lose that speed tie. But, all in all, it was fine. I mean, I did what I needed to do. And despite being flinched by Waterfall, I still managed to pull through in this battle. So, thank you guys for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Like and comment as well if you wish, and I'll see you guys next time for another Wi-Fi battle. And remember, stay salty, Rage Clears. Stay salty.